This is the video of the 1960 Carmen Ghia coupe. Um, taking this video because uh, of some potential buyers overseas, I wanted to show the as much of the condition of the vehicle as I could in addition to photos which don't always tell or you can see everything. So it's running now. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this video of the, of the engine right now. Start off. So you can see it's freshly rebuilt engine, runs really good, starts right up, drives good. Go ahead and stop that. So, again, taking this video for some potential buyers so I can go over a few of the things that I think that need to be, attention needs to be directed to so that there's no misunderstanding of the condition of the car. So basically, 60 Coupe, um, I'm the third owner. First owner was um, from new until about four years ago. Um, an associate of mine got the car. It was actually a local car. And it had been sitting a little bit, um, not driven as much, so he basically went through and did some mechanical stuff like brakes and fuel, and and then uh, he actually did some aesthetic stuff, which I'll go over. Um, just basically getting it roadworthy again, and and he was not looking to really make it an original car. He wanted to just keep that patina look to it, you know, the aged look, um, you know, which is popular right now. So, anyway, so let's go ahead and start in. So, as far as the body goes here, some significant scratches here There's lots of chips off the paint all over you can see here chips um, nose many chips from road um, the nose here has a little bit of dings and stuff on it here um, it's actually not been in an accident though it's actually uh, in good shape um, I'll show some on the inside of the nose too. Um, all the vents and lights, all this stuff has never really been taken off or anything. So you can see the bumpers are original. You know they're not they're not perfect, but chrome is decent on it. Some fading, and I do have the overrider bar for the side, which will be on the car before it goes to anybody. Um, original license plate's actually in very good shape. Early nose badge. You can see on the hood here. Spots of the paint is just let's see all this stuff going on. Now, I did have some questions about original paint. I I don't know. I'm seeing here looks like kind of an off whitish color underneath. I see this a lot on the car, so I don't know that I would call the car original paint. I don't know if that's a primer coat under there I'm seeing, or if that's an original color that has. Um, had one respray. It's definitely, if it was resprayed, it was a long, long time ago. You can see where the paint has worn thin all the way down on the edges and stuff, so that's why it's hard to say. But again, I'm trying to show everything I can on the car. This is what I would consider the most significant body damage here. It's a pretty good dent here. Um, it can be, you know, knocked out from the inside, but I didn't want to mess with any of it. So, that will need to be addressed. Um, the windshield wiper arms, I have a box of some parts, but I don't know that they're in there, so that will be something I have to check on. has these cool original mirrors. I've never seen these before. They don't look like they're aftermarket. They're definitely early, um, but they're on both sides. They're actually kind of cool. They actually pivot from here. and So on this side, you can see lots of just chips the paint. Um, the side moldings missing on this side. I do have some some of the pieces but I didn't want to bother putting it back on. Um, probably just I don't think it's complete. Um, there is some issue here I think could be there's some bubbles and some cracking here so I think that there could be something going on maybe here but actually it's actually other than just this little surface here you see it's actually really solid all the way down and the rears again more chipping the pictures I took and posted online really didn't show a lot of the chipping and wear on the paint as much as I would have thought they would so this is why 
the video is going to be very helpful for that. Um, significant scratch here. So see if you back up, you really can't see that stuff. It's the thing about this color. So on the rift line, some big scratch here. But uh, it definitely has you know great patina to it. All the chrome is in great shape. I mean, it could be cleaned up, but as you see, it shines real well. The pillars, all the glass in good shape. All the windows seem to work pretty good. Um, you know, there's surface rust on some of the components. I mean, it definitely is a 53-year-old car. It's never been restored. The rubbers, you know, it's all there. It's not in the greatest shape. It's usable. These, these pieces actually are in pretty good shape here, um, but the scrapers are not so much. Um, but all this rubber is pretty good. And all the chrome on the glass is actually pretty good. You can see that it's nice shiny condition. It's not really that bad as far as how they usually fade out. So the dash is actually in great shape. The original dash pad, that looks uh, very good actually for being 50 years old. So now on the body, the major concerns of the body as far as rust are gonna be here. You can see that this is all here and actually this side is not that bad under here um, it's actually pretty solid right here um, some chipping of the paint away here but it's actually not through well actually I lied it is pretty weak there so yeah so all here this and on the other side which is actually very bad um, are gonna be you see this is completely gone on this side so this whole fender section here and underneath here, which, you know, like I said, it's not very noticeable if you're not climbing under here as far as just being a driver, but obviously it needs to be fixed at some point. So other than that though, um, you know, the fender wells, which I have, it's hard to film, but I actually have the wheels off in some of my photos that I posted on Photo Bucket. I have lots of pictures under the pans. The floorboards are actually in really great shape, very solid. Um, all original, nobody's ever done anything with those, so those are all in great shape. The front fender wells and all up underneath the, uh, you know, these areas here and up in the front where the fresh air vents and everything all come in, that's all in really good shape. Um, the early Carmen badge, this side has, this side has the, uh, molding still on it, but it's not, uh, you know, it's not perfect, it's got some little dings and things. You can see the rockers. Actually, look good on this side. It has these cool uh, stickers here. It's really cool. There's one on each side. It's an old tourist sticker from 1971 when the original owner had driven the car to Mexico. And they're actually on the inside of the glass. It's pretty neat. So, of course, those were left on. Um, this antenna has been added. This is not original. This looks like just a reproduction antenna. So, we got the early. Badge in still good shape, more paint chipping. You can see all this chipped off. Um, original license plates in beautiful condition, front and back. Um, just some scrape, scraps of the paint here and chipping. And so overall, I mean, the, the paint, you know, is just in fair condition, I would say, at best. But as far as original, you know, as far as the look of it and stuff and all that, I. I I think it looks good going down the road. It's just including you get starting close up. You can see there's a lot of that going on. So so inside the car, you can see all the paint here on the it's been worn. And the dash is pretty much all uncut. Nice original radio, which is cool. Instruments, I don't think any of this stuff's ever been out of the car. Original steering wheel with, you know, all the wear goes down the road straight, you know, the brakes work well, clutch works well, everything seems to be in order mechanically, which was where some of the things were addressed, you know, bearings were repacked, brakes were checked, fuel system, all that kind of stuff. So, you can see the original headliner, you know, it's all still there. Original mirror, it's got some delamination on the glass, but, but, uh, this is a newer carpet kit, obviously. It's reproduction. I don't think it's like a, it's not high end or anything, but it's, it's put in there by the previous owner. And then the seat frames, which of course I mentioned in my ad, these have all been stripped and powder coated. These are the original seat frames. He had pre powder coated. 
so that he was going to reupholster them. The rear seat actually also needs to be upholstered. There's just the wood frame. If you flip this up, it's just the wood. So that needs to be upholstered. Door panels, I would consider nothing special. I mean, I don't think they're even period correct, but so somebody might want to switch those out when they do the seats. Um, he did some powder coating here, so the handle, shifter, and things like that have been repowder coated. And also the fuel tank in the front and some of the engine tin, which I'll show. Um, he actually added a radio, and it's in the glove box. It was done pretty well, and it's functional. So um, good news is they didn't cut the dash up or anything for that. So someone can either leave it or take it out. The driver's door shut's pretty good. I feel like there's a little bit of wobble, not a lot, but I know gear hinges are notorious for wearing out so it but it actually closes real well and feels good solid passenger door she feels really good so all the everything seems to be working well there the keys the original keys I have fit the doors and everything um, so the original owner he took and powder coated the wheels it's like a it's like a dark chocolate brown sort of and then there's some trim rings white wall tires tires are Fairly new, um, a large logo, hubcaps, which are obviously aftermarket. So everything works as far as I know, as far as lights and electrical. The wiring harness has never been altered or modified that I know of. So um, the fuse boxes and everything, as you'll see here. So we can see Original wiring, I see a little tape here, but for the most part, you know, you have all your original loom is all still there, and fuse block, and it's actually a tag on the radio for a warranty. It's kind of cool. It's like a dealership thing. And you see all the original paints all worn out and chipped off, and you know, pretty tired, but. You see no accident though, this is all real straight in here on both sides. No rust here on the bumper brackets. Original horns, still there. And then you can see the nose. Still see the ridge on the nose is good here. So it's, you know, actually it feels good from the finger here. So it's on the outside, it's more of just some dings and things. So, but no wrecks. Fuel tank's been powder coated. Um, it was cleaned. The sending unit is not hooked up. I believe the wire is right there. I just didn't do it, so I would have to say the fuel gauge is the one thing that's not working. Okay, so I think if there's anything else we haven't covered, the rear package here, there's some speakers and the original material, which I have laying, but it's all ratty, so that's been added. Um, okay, so in the engine compartment, um, I think one thing I need to point out is it looks like someone here actually reinforced the battery box. They like riveted it here and did this cool little bracket for the battery and stuff. So someone could redo that if the car was ever restored. Um, also, too, here it looks like the apron split or something. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but uh, you know, no accidents. Pretty rust-free. Looks like somebody had a compression check at one point. They wrote in some pencil. Looks like 150, 150, 140, 145. I think that was probably in the original engine because he went through this whole engine recently and it's all been freshened up and stuff. And it's got a generator and it runs really good. So that's this is all actually been updated fairly recently. So there's the car. Um, and say it looks pretty good when you start, you know, far away. But like I said, the purpose of this video is to show all the close-up stuff, so there's no surprises on the car for any potential buyers. The car does have an adjustable narrowed front beam, which the previous owner added. Um, I actually did raise it up a little bit, and I raised the back a little bit. It was a lot lower. I don't really like it that low, so I raised it up. Somebody could either raise it more, or they can put it back down, whatever they decide to do with it. So, 
I believe that's it. So, if anybody has any questions, my email should be on my ad or my phone number. You can call. So again, 1960 Gia Coupe. Um, I'm the third owner. I've owned it about a month. The first owner was up till about 2008. Um, was a local car. Always been from California. Current title, current registration. Runs, drives. So, that's it.